I know that there's a sense of urgency out here. People are in serious warfare. Blessings family, how's everybody doing? I pray all is well with you and your family. Welcome back. I'm just stopping by for a moment to encourage you all out there that are facing a lot of warfare. I'm getting so many emails and text messages saying, pray for me, pray for me. The warfare is intense. People of God, keep holding on. Hold your position in this battle, people of God, because as long as we are in these physical bodies, we are going to continue to be in warfare. And I do believe believe that the level of your calling is a level of warfare that the enemy tries to bring upon you people of God. So keep holding your position in this battle. We will be battling in warfare until the Lord's return. So continue to hold on. There is no cease of fire. There is no temporary truce people of God. So continue to hold on and use that word. Use the word. Let the word constantly strengthen you people of God. And we know that the father had apostle Paul to write Ephesians and Corinthians to help us in this battle. People of God use the word against the enemy. I know that there's a sense of urgency out here. People are in serious warfare. The enemy is coming against the minds of the people. So therefore we must take on the mind of Christ, people of God. And we know that the word said that those who keep their minds stayed on the Lord, he's going to do what he is going to keep them in perfect peace people of God so keep your mind stayed up on the Lord he's attacking families marriages he's attacking people's body their finances ministry the enemy is attacking he's even coming through people's dreams he's coming through their dreams attacking them when they're in their most vulnerable state people of God so get up renouncing that stuff pull that stuff down use the word people of God the enemy is trying to weaken us he's trying to come through and weaken the saints people of God so you must continue to hold on you must use that word we know what Paul said when they came against Paul and Paul began to say that the weapons of his warfare was not colonel, but it was mighty through God, through the pulling down of strong hold, people of God. Sorry about that. A pulling down of strong hold. We know that God can pull down those strong hold. How do he do it? He do it with the word, the gospel. The gospel is going to pull those things down, people of God. So we must use the word. Put on that armor, people of God. Put it on and keep it on. Use it against the enemy. Keep fighting, people of God. I know that you are in all out war out here, so keep fighting the good fight of faith. Use your sword, people of God. Use it. Use the word. That is the word of the Lord. Abide in that word. Keep holding on. Don't let the enemy come through and keep, you know, weakening you throughout these attacks. Don't let him weaken you in those areas. Keep holding on. Put that armor on. Go through Ephesians, the book of Ephesians. Go in there. I believe it's chapter 6. Go in. Study the word. See what Paul is saying. He wrote the book to encourage us, to help us in these battles. Once again, I do believe that the level of your calling is the level of your warfare that the enemy is trying to bring upon you people of God. So keep holding on. Do not take down. Hold your position in this battle. Hold your position. Keep reading the word. Keep studying the word people of God. Let your mind be filled with that word that you may be able to stand. Remember we are in a spiritual battle here. This battle is spiritual. Paul keeps telling us to these things. You must continue to war in the spirit and keep fighting the good fight of faith. Use your sword. Amen. Amen. I just had to come by for a minute to help those of you out there that are fighting this warfare. You all know that I love you with the love of Christ and I will be back at that appointed time. And until then, you all stay blessed. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.